So today I'm just gonna do a simple, like, you know, no pressure makeup look, if they make any sense. Like, something very simple that you can wear. You can wear it anytime, basically. Um, so yeah, just keep on watching, girl. And I'm showing you my natural hair today. Ah, hit my hair flat iron on one video. But today I'm just showing you um, all natural wrap and how I would wear it. <laughs> Instead, my own natural hair is it, be some with that too. Because this is mine. I don't have any, anything in here besides me washing and blow. I didn't even blow dry it. Besides me washing and con deep conditioning. I also am introducing drum roll, please. That's more like a knock, huh? Drum roll. But the Natural Eyes Palette by Hard Candy. Let me give y'all a little sneak peek in the inside. This is what it looks like. Oh, some beautiful, beautiful shades. So, just keep on watching it. I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus Spray. And I'm going to use this to like, give my face a little moisture because my face is extremely dry. I have dry skin. I learned that. But yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's going on in my life. I can't even. My mouth is open. Just spray whatever y'all have. So, my apartment apparently wanted to start cutting grass while I was filming. So, I'm going to just talk to you guys like this. I'm using my NYC primer to prime my face. Also, I've done my face as well to take up less time. I will leave a link below or above to um show you guys how I do my face with my CoverGirl CC cream. Right now, I'm just going to take that hard candy palette and fill in my brows. I'm taking the color Minx from the Hard Candy Palette and focusing it towards the tail. And later on, I will take the color Twin, a softer brown, and feather the front of my brows. I'm just going to take my uh, MAC Concealer NW20 and use it as a... Um, what did you call it? Um, a primer for my lids. And I'm also going to take T's. And I'm just going to um, set that concealer with that color. Next I'm going into the palette. And using Toying again. Just to warm my brow bone area up. And just run it along the crease. Afterwards I'm going to take Minx. And go to the outer V part of my eye just to give it some depth. Make sure that you blend these shadows well as they can be a bit chalky but the pigmentation of them is awesome. You just have to work with them to get the desired result. Now I'm taking Max Cork just to warm up the, the eye a little bit. It has a little red undertone that I'm using with a large fluffier brush just to give me that look that I'm going for. Next I am taking uh, Chatty just to put it down as a base for the next color we're going to use which is Bashful. And Bashful is a pretty champagne, um, iridescent, soft pink color that I'm going to wet. Um, I'm going to wet the brush with a little um, Fix Plus later on.
come through fix plus come through as you can see after a while of not a while but a moment of blending adding more fix plus the color really is gonna pop it's gonna look really pretty almost as if it's a pigment oh and it's really chalky so be careful when digging into these colors but I will do a full review of these palettes later on again I'm just taking a little of toying and blending out and bashful so we don't have any harsh lines And next, I'm going to take Bashful on a large concealer brush and just carry it along my brow bone line just to make it pop and give it a little oomph. Right here, I'm taking a large fluffy brush, just dusting. Um, a small amount of toying around just to blend everything together to um, combine uh, instead of teas, teas and bashful. Now we're about to bronze up our face. <laughs> I'm using um, Elf's Baked Bronzer and Bora Bora just to give my son, my son, my face a sun like glow. Because after you apply um, face products, your face usually looks one-dimensional. So just to give your face a little more life. Be careful not to overdo it. Next, I'm going to take this Fergie Center Stage um, little, I guess a little palette. And just add a little more. I'm just going to do this right along the ear. Stopping like right at mid brow point. And I'm holding the brush sideways so I can get a concentrated amount of product. And just going back over where I bronze. I am going to use a highlighter cocktail using Milani's 04 Glow. And I'm going to put that right under my um, cheekbone. And then later I will take Hard Candy's Tinky and place it right above everywhere that I used 04 Glow. They work perfectly together. I love it. I did use the mascara. Um, I used the Milani Runway Lash. I will put that in the description down below. Now I'm just taking a little more of that Tiki highlight and just placing it on my brow bone and my inner tear duct. Right here I'm just taking a gray um, eyeliner that I bought at the beauty supply store. This gray is going to open my eyes just a little. I mean, if you want to wear black, you can. I think this is daytime appropriate to use a lighter color in your waterline. Now I'm just lining my lips with a mocha color and I'm adding a pink a pink color by Ruby Kisses. I will link it down below. Um, I'm also using my NYX Butter Gloss. Yes, you know I love it. It was in my monthly favorites for the month of July. On to the hair. Now I'm taking Dr. Miracles edge um holding gel and i'm gonna take it around the perimeter of my hair 
And I'm gonna use a toothbrush to smooth it out so that we don't have any clumps and lumps and you know, just a whole lot of built up product in one area. Now I'm pulling my hair apart so that my curls will be looser. And I'm taking this herbal hair, um, I don't know, it's a detangler. It's good for my girl's hair, but it's good for moisturizing my hair. And I'm just gonna take a big brush and brush all their products together. Um, gradually building the ponytail part up. I'm just fingering through it to get the desired curl wave that I like. And um, I'm gonna eventually just pull it up and then I'm gonna use two big clamps and make a little ball at the top of my head. Uh, I think I'm gonna play with those baby hairs. Yes, I am. I'm gonna take that two brush and go back into the Dr. Miracle um, gel. It's not a gel, it's like an edge, an edge controller that I love so very much. All right guys, so this is the final look. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. God bless you all. Come back again. I mean, I really enjoyed this. So like your thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.